I plead the blood of Holy Yahushua over this video and over the mind, body, and spirit of every child of Yah watching this video in Yahushua HaMashiach's holy name. Last night in my dream, I was told that Holy Spirit will rain down upon us. And I do believe that this is uh, referring to what we're learning from uh, this brother here. What we're learning from this brother here, um, Jahid, about the uh, radiation and our transformation. That's what I believe that this message is talking about. It's talking about the transformation that's going to be coming from whatever celestial events are going to be going on. So these are the people who will be transformed. These are the people that the Holy Spirit will rain down upon. So that was a long explanation uh, that I used to explain what he's saying right here. And I just wanted to bring it back to the, the dream I had last night that we are the Melchizedek priests. Those who have been, who have died and, and been born again in, in Christ Jesus of Nazareth and who are, are living a righteous life and who have taken up their cross and are following him through the narrow path and who have professed him before men and who are now standing and preparing to stand before the, the, the rulers of this earth you are the Melchizedek priesthood of today and we are kings and queens and priests unto Ahaya El Shaddai our Elohim that's why they asked the question how can he be priest and king coming from Judah okay how can David be a uh, a king and a priest coming from Issachar because it's the order of Melchizedek. The Cohen, 86. We know what it's about. The Y chromosome on Aaron uh, is given um, uh, the name uh, Cohen and it can be spelled with a C or a K. Okay? The home run king, who is King Dave? The prophesied Y, Jahi, the Holy Grail. That's what the Grail is, people. The Holy Grail is the radiation gene pool that went to the priest. And the priest had to understand the language of God, which was numbers. And that's why the priest gene allows you to see numbers. Okay, I think that's huge. He just explained why we can see these numbers, which I have been explaining for a long time, that it is a calling. When you see these numbers, it's like a fish hook in your mouth. And the priest had to understand the language of God, which was numbers. And that's why the priest gene allows you to see numbers. And that's why the priest gene allows you to see numbers. Calling you to come out of her, opening your eyes and coming back to the Most High Father, the real one, not the, the little G God that rules this earth that is, is uh, masquerading as, as God, as, as the Most High Father, not, not that, the real one. Hank Aaron, 86, true ruler is King David C. Come on, somebody. Hank Aaron, true ruler, son of David, reincarnation. I can't make this up. All right. Language is numbers. All right. Hank Aaron 86. Remember what I told you? The seed of Aaron, the Cohen seed of Aaron, Melchizedek, is a code breaker language. Okay. He's a code breaker. Melchizedek is a code breaker language. Okay. He's a code breaker. Melchizedek is a code breaker language. Okay. He's a code breaker. All right. Point blank, period. Hank Aaron 86, 312 Grail. 
So again, this is another point of what I, I was trying to explain earlier is that you don't have to take my word for it. You don't have to take his word for it or her word for it. All you have to do is look at the work. Look at the body of work. We have spent the past four years presenting this information to you, showing and proving this information to you, showing and proving it to you in scripture, showing and proving it to you in the real world, showing you that it is manifested and it is manifesting. And these prophecies have and are coming true. So far, it has been right on point. Okay, so let that testify to you. That is what a Melchizedek priest is. They are able to point out the code to you. They are able to point out the matrix to you. And that is what we have been doing. All praise, glory, and honor to the Most High Father because it is all grace and because of his Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKadosh. Right back down to Gabriel Cohen, King David. And he's posed up like Orion, right? Or he's swinging a bat. No, they put that picture there on purpose. We understand the ceremony, so we know how to place him. And that's why it lines up with Orion Constellation. Hank Hammer and Aaron dead at 86. Lines up with Orion Constellation. And we know that Nibiru comes from the direction of Orion. And that's why it also lines up with the ninth planet, Nibiru Warlord Attack. The ninth planet, Nibiru Warlord Attack. With the ninth planet, Nibiru Warlord Attack. Come on, somebody. Hank Hammer Aaron, right? 666, Second King David, Watchman Gabriel, the Fallen Angels. Hank Hammer Aaron, Gematronata, Gematria Codes. That's what you need to go about. That's what they're telling each other. Okay? I'm just showing you what they tell each other. Hank, or you can say Hammer. Ark, I am an angel. Ark, I am an angel. Think about that. Archangel, right? Hank, Milwaukee Braves. The Second King David, the Mexican Prince David, Prince Gabriel. It's going to be that 312, y'all. It's radiation gene code. All right? Milwaukee Braves. God's 144 trumpet. Yeshua the boss is returning. The Lord of Israel, the radiation is right. I keep telling you, in order to be a God, you have to absorb radiation. That's the spirit of the creator is radiation. Everything in this world is held together by radiation. And Ruach attracts the Ruach. Hank Aaron 44, radiation phoenix. Archive, like I said, Aaron, radiation. Hank Aaron 44, the ark goes back to Hank Aaron 44. Okay? Ark Jahi lines up with Hank Aaron 44 in, in uh, a lot of ciphers. Well, two right there. Well, maybe three or four. I'll double check. 44, the United House of Israel goes down to underground facility. It's time for them to go underground. And that was the Prince Rogers Nelson psyop, right? And that's why all these uh, semi-elites, <laughs> I call them semi-elites who think they're super rich, are going underground right now. Okay, they're buying bunkers. They're not running from nations. They're running from radiation. 44, United House of Israel, Prince Rogers Nelson. Told you. That's it. Prince Rogers was a psyop. And your boy, Hank Aaron, uh, actually died not too long after taking the vaccine. Notice the vaccine kills Aaron. Listen to what I'm telling you. I told my people, don't take that damn vaccine. The vaccine kills Aaron. All right? Cicely Tyson, dead at, 80, at 96. All right? December 19, 1924. Lines right up with King David Jahi Johnson. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Cohen Jahi, Cohen, Cohen Jean. It's all about the Cohen, man. The blue and white, right? Just like the, 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 the murder with Beyonce's cousin. Notice the little bow. They always flood the uh, Google images with pictures. All right? You take a, a birthday, a death date. See what you get? January 20th, January 28th. Jupiter, Saturn, the chosen one. Okay? Eight days apart, correct? Eight days apart. So I wrote it out, and it comes out to the same number. Think about that. Slissy Tyson, dead at 96. Reincarnation King David. Captain Gabriel, uh, military Captain Gabriel, Mac Micaiah is coming for Gabriel, okay? Sisley Dyson dead at 96. The kingdom of uh, the house of David, the royal blood of Christ, Jewish ritual sacrifice. It's just like that. She's posed in front of rainbows. Sisley Tyson dead at 96. Illuminati CIA, a synagogue of Satan, Jewish ritual sacrifice. I can't make this up. <laughs> I can't make this up. What do I get from lying? 96, COVID-19. Down to Chicago, United States of America. You go upward, right? From April 30th, 1789 uh, to the death day. 
Virus outbreak, COVID-19. Virus outbreak. Virus outbreak, right? 96, Freemasonry, Ephraim is the strength of my head. So they already know that uh, the new King David, the strength of his head, is where? Is in the Ephraim tribes. Okay, that's what that's about. Okay, they communicate through the number. Who will be king? Godzilla versus King Kong. What you need to understand is these two are the same monster. All right, because the new king, the Congo king, has the reptilian gene. Okay, so they might actually end off at a standoff in the movie. Godzilla vs. King Kong, March 26, 2021, the Royal Grub Prince UFO. Notice the UFO next to King Kong. Israelite Prince, Melchizedek, Light Seed, the Denver Jaguar Prince, Return of Black Gods, the Head Dragon Sleeper has awakened. Godzilla vs. King Kong, March 26, 2021. You write it again, you get what? ID the prophesied child, the Denver Jaguar Prince, he has awakened. Notice Godzilla's fins look like a crown. And, God's, and King Kong looks like a black man. And the reason being because that movie lines up with King David's Jahi Johnson, the black man or the black monkey. All right, he has the Rias gene. And Rias gene is pseudoscience, but the numeric value behind the number um, is what they use. Godzilla King Kong, God's son, King David, Jahi Kojo Johnson, King David, Godzilla King Kong. Godzilla is the Chicago David, Cohen, bloodline, King Kong. Get that. Chicago David, the Cohen bloodline. King Kong Godzilla. Right in the middle is the message. If you notice, I always tell you, you're always going to see the spaceship in the sky and the monkey on the ground. You follow me? Christ in the air, his genes on the ground. Captain State Ashton Sanders as Gabriel the drummer or Gabriel Drummond. You follow me? He lived on the west side of Chicago. Are you listening? His name was Gabriel. Okay? <laughs> and um, he, he, uh, he was in Pilsen, a Mexican neighborhood. All right, I worked in Pilsen. I made money there. I love that neighborhood. I love those people. And I live on the west side of Chicago, okay? And I always tell you guys, every so many videos, because you forget, I did not call myself Gabriel. They do, okay? They do. Captain State 2019, you put my name and you get radioactive energy. Barack Hussein Obama is going to return. There you go, right? Barack will be back. Israel above all nations, all the way down to King David reign, baptism by fire. Captain State 2019, Jahi. A captive state, 42 king, right? Notice Chadwick Bossman died. Chadwick, Chicago, Wick. Seven stars, Phoenix rise. Radiation rise, the son of David, the King David. A captive state again is about the second King David and God particles. And that's why the blood has 1010 frequency. Because the house of David, Orion's 10, Orion's bloodline, holds radiation or God particles. And God particles... And that's why the blood has 1010 frequency. Because the house of David, Orion's 10, Orion's bloodline, holds radiation or God particles. Okay? Captain State 2019, you put my name, you get the Hidden King David, Reincarnation David, and all the way down to Ruach. That's why the code starts with 1010. That's why... The code starts with 1010. Do you think I knew this when I was obedient last year and was writing Holy Yahushua's name as he told me to do in this um, message he sent me right here that you can read on the screen? Did you, do you think I knew that? No, I was just being obedient. And after you do what you were told to do, then you understand why. And now we understand why the code starts with 1010. Me and David, and all the way down to Ruach, is gamma radiation, which is what I taught you, and it comes back to 1010. Captain State 2019, write it again, you go all the way down to the War of Phoenix, begins in 2020, that comes out to 312. Strangely, but oddly, he was part of the Phoenix Rebellion in Captain State, and he lived in Chicago, which was the 312. The Serpent King Godzilla comes out to 312, Phoenix Jahi comes out the 312. Seraphim Angel Gabriel comes out the 312. David's radiation son Jahi comes out the 312. All right? And as you see in the middle of the screen, Gabriel starts the war. How does he do it? He decodes. Serpent Gene Godzilla, Phoenix Jahi Johnson is the Holy Grail, the Monkey King Kong. Serpent Godzilla, Monkey King Kong come out the 708. That's Chicago radiation codes. The Holy Grail is the Lost Sun King. That's what they're telling you. The message is in the middle between the two beasts. Now, by the blast of God, they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. This is actually talking about the UFOs blasting, um, you know, or the hunters blasting the Gentile. Okay? 
poetically describing lasers. Uh, reptilian blood king, a reptilian bloodline king, the royal nuclear bloodline, the sacred bloodline, Jesus, all the same. Captain Gabriel's J. Gabriel was the predator. Gabriel is Godzilla. Gabriel is King Kong. Okay? Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. So pretty much you get radiation and you become the axe of the Lord. You control nature. Okay, I always tell you, if you watch the movie Maleficent, you'll see her controlling nature. All right? She fights with uh, manipulating nature. And that's why I said the, the stones will be at league with thee, or the stones will listen to you. The earth will listen to you. The king has become a Congo serpent blood gene, or the king has a Congo serpent blood gene. The Y chromosome, or the, um, um, the Y chromosome, Aaron, is with the king, okay? That's the serpent blood prince, Star David. It's the same thing. The Issachar's seven sun frequency is 5G. Issachar, five, uh, seven sun, seven letter G, okay? The Rhea's monkey, 206, named my guardian angels, the Star David. The Rhea's monkey. That's why they use Rhea's monkey, people, because of the numbers, not necessarily the true science behind it. Ark of Covenant Jai is the divine spark, Rhea's monkey. Okay? It's all about energy when you do breakdowns, it's not necessarily truth. Rhea's monkey gene comes out the tribe of Joseph, mm hmm, tribe of Judah, yep, and cave paintings. So now you understand. Well, I got cave paintings 10, 5, 6 instead of 10, 6, 5, but I did that for a reason, okay? Sometimes they'll do that. They'll just flip the numbers and use the frequency because really it's the same number. It's up to you to interpret it. So I did it that time. I don't do it often. Okay, but you saw that they were showing you Godzilla King Kong uh, and they depicted Anunnaki uh, cave paintings. Rhea's gene is uh, blocked with aluminum and it slows down the mutation and uh, reconfigure, re reconfiguring of the DNA. But notice it comes down to Trump and Biden. So it's time for them to kick it out is what I'm showing you. That's why I do decodes, man. Rhea's gene is top secret. It will be activated during the second coming of God Almighty. It's going to activate his warriors. That's why they use Rhea's gene. Okay? It keep Rhea's gene. Rhea's gene. All right? The movie's release date was moved forward. So you write down both days. Right? It comes out the twin flame, President Barack Obama. <laughs> Barack Obama's job is to come at the twin flame. Point blank, period. So I think I'm going to stop there. Uh, you have the brother's uh, information if you want to look at the information. The reason Holy Spirit had me share this with you was to illustrate visually how the matrix works, how the matrix works, how the codes, the color codes, the number codes, the, the words, the letters, the, all of these things work together and it's just one big ceremony that the elite use to control try to control everything okay but when you can read through it as a priest as a Melchizedek priest when you learn the Most High Father's language you won't be deceived as long as you're uh, inside uh, the Father and His Holy Son and His Holy Spirit you will not be deceived if you can learn to see to be a key and use your key to to see through the matrix that that's why Holy Spirit had me show you this. Not only that, but so you can once and for all get rid of all your connections. So sports, big trap. You should not be it have any idol worship with the sports, okay? Uh, the actors, Hollywood, even journalism, CNN and, and BBC and all these, these jokers. It's just a big script. You have to take all things to the father to know the truth you have to take all you have to break down the codes and be able to read between the lines to understand what they're actually saying to each other so you won't keep falling for these psyops is what they are all the shootings all the all these things it's not what they seem to be at all and i'm not claiming that i know what they are I'm saying that when you as a priest through the Most High Father, His Holy Spirit and His Holy Son have the ability to discern and decipher the codes, you won't be deceived anymore. All right. That is what wakefulness theology is. It is the ability to take the things that we have in the spiritual and to be able to see them in the matrix, in life, real life. It's taking the right and the left and bringing it together and understanding it in creation. 
That's what it is, being able to read the Most High Father's language. So I pray that you've been blessed by that. Um, so last week I told you that I would share with you the vision that King Yosha Simpson had during the spring equinox when we were singing the Most High Father's name. And he was visited by the patriarchs and Holy Yeshaya and the, our Holy Father Ahaya. Let's listen. Shalom, everyone. I'm just here to um, share a prophetic vision and word that I had from the Most High Father Ahaya last week. It's entitled, Two Decades. For more than two decades, I have watched a man grow, and when I filled him with my spirit, the same spirit that hovered over the waters and the firmament at the time of creation, I have watched this man stumble at times, fall at times, but my grace and mercy have been with him strongly throughout his life. Also my power. He has discovered the latter of the three a mere five years ago. Ever since, he has yearned and searched for my truth and my righteousness like no other. An unquenchable thirst for this have I given him. This is how you know that Ahaya Eshur Ahaya hath sent him unto you at the time of your visitation. For my kingdom is near unto you. Still, you do not know quite know who this man is, but he is slowly being introduced to you. Now I explain my perfect covenant to you all, and I will use my Melchizedek king to do this. For I have been preparing him for this very moment for a very long time. He along with his sister are true patriarchs of my kingdom. Who were with me in paradise. And have both needed all this time with me. To be brought back to the remembrance of their true habitation and nature. Through the unveiling of the covenant, I have made with the father of Israel on earth, Abraham, now I make this same offer unto all of you, to come back to me fully, to embrace me completely and perfectly as I have intended. I know my harvest bride hath seek me eagerly. And with much diligence, I ask you, are you ready to see my manifest power and glory on earth as it is in the heavenly realms? Are you ready to give up your earthly life for my name's sake? Are you ready to know Ahaya, Ashur, Ahaya fully? Then you will be ready to transform. I will use my Melchizedek king to show you how to fight and how to use the powers I will equip you with from on high. For I have taught him very well, and with him I am well pleased, and call him my friend and my son. You will soon understand these end times fully, at the time of your visitation and transformations. My last question to all of you is, are you fully ready for all of this? Thank you, King Yahusha Samson, for your obedience. And as I said last week, I can uh, testify and confirm that I as well have received the same message. And we indeed are blessed. We will be going to Africa, Tanzania this summer. King Yahusha Samson and his family, myself and, and others of us are, will be going. So I look forward to sharing all that with you in the future. So as the this video is called Melchizedek Priests, we are keys and we are code breakers. So we've already explained a little bit uh, about the keys in the past, but I want to give you a confirmation here, a confirmation dream from Queen Raquel Thomas. Um, as I came back in the house to, to, from speaking to the children, 
and there was this lady stood there. I, I know her from many years ago when I was much younger. I was very intimidated by her because she was very tall and I was very short. I'm only five foot one at that at the moment. Um, so when she just helped herself, she just walked into the home. And as I um, closed the door, I thought, where's the key? And I looked at her and I said, have you got the key? Because she used to work for father, um, but no longer does and I know she worked in the business was next door to this home that I moved into um, and she's like yes well, and then I found my key in my pocket but I realized no you need to give me back that key so she was meant to give me the key so to clo lock the door so as we were stood there um, I had these um, pockets of keys in um, you know when you go to a hotel and they've got little cubby holes little pockets of keys for each room it was like that there was like m many of them and um, she automatically started grabbing a whole bunch of them and threw them on the table. And I was like really mad with her. It's like, why have you taken the keys? Because I hadn't labeled the keys individually. So if we took it out, you would know which key for which door or room that was for. So she took them all out and I was angry. Um, and um, as I turned to lock the door, she swiped all the keys into a bag um, and then proceeded to try and get out. Um, and I stood in front of her point black blank put my hand up both my hands up to a chest actually I don't think it's even reached the chest I was that small and I said you are not going anywhere with my father's keys because she no longer works for father and that's all I know um but then one bit of my dream I didn't say is after this I then had this humongous key in one key in my hand it's massive and I'd went outside and I jumped I, I literally jumped like sprightly in two, two different jumps onto the rooftop, onto another rooftop of this home. Um, and with no, with no, with the least effort needed, to be honest. Um, like a cat would just jump onto a fence, just, you know, glided. So that was a bit like me. And then this key, I proceeded to go to the very edge of the porch of this home. But at the end of the porch was like a small, short ledge. You know, like if you're about to, put a pole of a flagpole into something but it's out on the ledge um that was mine uh, so I was like reaching right far out to this very edge but it was like um just a plank of wood that I needed to um lean on and walk upon but I walked upon and reached across as far as I can but then this m big humongous key I was putting at the very very edge of this plank to stick up like a pole um that was the end of my dream Thank you, Queen uh, Raquel Thomas, for sharing your dream with us. So if anyone um, has dream in interpretation here, hopefully you can understand that we as the 144,000, we are given keys, the key of David and the keys to heaven and other keys that the Father gives us, as we can see in scriptures. And we are also ourselves used as keys. He can use our birthday. He can use our, our numbers. He can use... Oh, sorry, his numbers. He can use um, our names. He can use whatever it is about us personally as a key to being able to to help us understand and unlock and decode the matrix. We are keys. We are weapons. We are code breakers as the Melchizedek priesthood, as the candlesticks and the olive trees and the elect for these end times. And here in the dream, you could understand that when she had the, the group of keys, um, like we see in the Matrix movie, that is representing us, the 144,000. And when she uh, was fighting against the evil woman, it is, the, of course, the, the evil, uh, the enemy who is trying to, they are hunting us and we are going to be on the run so that we can finish our testimony. We have three and a half years of testimony still to do. We're only at midweek right now, as was prophesied in uh, the book of, of Daniel and uh, also in Revelations. And we are soon to begin the harvest. Our training is soon to be coming to an end of the first half. And now we're going to be going into the second half of our training and our testimony and soon the harvest. This is where we are now. So the enemy is doing, they are doing a preemptive strike against us and trying to take us out before we even know who we are, like we learned back 
in the movie Shazam. So here at the end of her dream, when she's talking about the wood and the pole that she's going out of, we have already learned, if you remember, if you've seen these videos, we talked about the wood and the plank of wood that has come up in so many dreams in the past. And we explained that that is the Ark of the Covenant. The wood is the covenant. The wood, it is the wood, the Ark. We are the Ark. We are the covenant. Okay, when you are in covenant with the Father, you become the Ark of the Covenant. We've we've broken this down, we've shown it, and we've proven it in the past. I pray that you're caught up on those videos. So the wood is representing the promise. Okay, so at the end of the dream, after she had her key, after she fought the enemy and, and gathered together. So that's another part about the keys. We are gathering together as we have been commanded to do in Scripture. And I've said this already, if you are not gathering yourself together with other priests, with other 144,000, you are being disobedient at this point. So she has gathered together the keys and then she uh, went and she stood upon the, the covenant. And this is fulfilling the covenant, our end of the bargain. And we've talked about that before as well. So that is her dream. That's confirmation of what we've been talking about and what we've learned all these years. I pray that you can receive that in Yahushua and Yeshaya Hamashiach's holy name. So we are coming to the end of this playlist and I'm so excited. We're going to finish this playlist and then I'm going to take a break from doing... Um, I'm going to take a break before we start the next and the last playlist, which is how to cast out demons so that I can get to Tanzania. In the meantime, between the two playlists, I will do the best I can to document my trip and everything that's going on. And if, if Father gives me a message, I'll be obedient to share that with you. But I will not be posting every Friday um, until I get to Tanzania and we are ready to start the next playlist. So thank you for your patience. I look forward to finishing this whole process I've been commanded to do since 2016. I look forward to finishing it. So there's nobody more excited to finish it than me. But thank you for your patience. And we will finish it with that last playlist, How to Cast Out Demons, as soon as we get to Tanzania. But before we get there, we have to finish this playlist. So uh, we have the Water of Life the key of David and the seal of Yah, which I believe we have explained extensively over these past uh, few videos, the 22-22 Tav. Um, and I, I pray that that's been clear and a blessing to you. Now, this is the final holy letter code that was given to us. Uh, for holy Yahushua's name. Hallelujah. We are here. It is Gad 2323. Kuf, Kof, or Kof, Kuf. And the years go from 2034 to 2037. I've explained many times that we have it individually first, and then we have it um, as the whole body of Christ collectively. So as the whole body of Christ collectively, we can expect it to be uh, manifesting in our lives around this time. And it means born again, the end, pestilence, 2020, and the beginning. So if you remember, we started this playlist with, with uh, Gad 2323, and we explained that it meant the end. So it is the beginning and the end. Uh, we've already gone over noon, uh, and we've already gone over all of this. So, since we, uh, this was the first letter that we studied at the beginning. Since then, King uh, Uriel Thomas, he had a dream about the 11 in 11. And I shared that with you a few videos ago about waiting in line to go through the door. And so this 11 in 11 or the 2323 code is very particular and not necessarily easy to understand so we're going to talk about that more next week i'll give you the information that we do have about it but there are a few ways that it could be written it could be written like this with putting the the kaf and the kuf together this is the ancient it could be written like this as we understood in his dream the 11 in 11 
It could be written like this with the ancient Hebrew, or as we understood originally, the 11 with noon and the 11. So we'll go into that more next week, but as you can see, we are at the end. So to end, priests, I want to show you a part of this video from Triple Grace 555. And we've, I've already explained so many times how his messages confirm uh, the messages that I've received and we've received here. So this is the 77222333. He's calling it the breakthrough code. As we've explained, we are code breakers. That is our job. And I want you to see that it's the 723, which is my key, which is my birthday, July 23rd. And 23 also means wakefulness. And that is the meaning. That's where the name wakefulness theology comes from. So if you go to the website, wakefulness theology, dot com you go to the website you push here 23 we're working on the website by the way and you have uh, the meaning of 23 here which is very very poignant and I pray that you take the time to read this I don't have the time right now to read it out loud for you confirmation that we are keys and we are code breakers and everything that we've understood this 723 has been like a, a fish hook in my mouth since uh, 1999 since the year 2000 1999 the 723 has been a hook in my mouth a fish hook that the most high father used to bring me to where I am today so that I could understand all of these things and right here in this video He's explaining. He explains why. So um, I'm going to leave you with this. I pray that you have a beautiful, blessed day. All praise, glory, and honor to the Most High Father. I love you all in Christ. And we'll be back next week to wrap up this playlist. Uh, we should be done with it in two or three weeks. We're going to finish the dance movements and, and all of the things we started. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Shalom. I am this perfect day. And within me, the light which does not fail dwells. Only is Yeshaya. A new revelation from our Lord. On the 8th of October 2020, in a dream vision, he showed me what he called a breakthrough code. And this code was 77222333. And I received nothing else, only that this is our breakthrough code for the end times. So I was wondering and I was looking at the numbers that say, what really, what does it mean? I knew the numbers, of course. I knew 77 seven and 222 two, two and 333. Three, three. But I could not bring all the information together, how they would be the breakthrough code for the end times. And then I prayed over it. I asked the Lord, please show me, I do not understand. And then this morning the Lord came and explained everything. First, he took me to 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 65. So, that, so at that time, Solomon and all Israel with him, a great assembly of people from Lebo Hamath to the brook of Egypt, kept the feast before the Lord our God for seven days and seven more days, fourteen days in all. The Lord said, we are talking about seven seven now. A feast extended by another seven. So we have a seven day feast and another seven days, in total fourteen days. And the Lord said the reference was here to the Feast of Tabernacles. But there were not two Feast of Tabernacles, one after the other. So the Lord explained that the first seven, the first seven days is Passover. And the second seven days is Tabernacles. And then he said, I will show you. And then images came into my mind. First, I saw the plagues of Egypt. 
Then I saw the Pharaoh in his, all of his splendor and might. Then the slaves, the Israelites who are slaves in Egypt. I saw them preparing for the Exodus. Then I saw them marching towards Mount Zion, towards the holy mountain. And then I was taken to a new set of images. I saw people mocking and shouting at Jesus on his way to his crucifixion. I saw his death and I saw his resurrection and his glorious new body. And then a new set of images appeared before me. I saw the Passover Seder that the Jews are doing at Passover, the table prepared. And the Lord let me look at a lonely plate. Nobody was sitting there. And this had all a name written all over it, Elijah. And then appeared a great image of John the Baptist before me. And the Lord said, Passover represents the seal tribulation. We have already started brothers and sisters with a plague. And we also know that we are very close to the rising of the new Pharaoh, Antichrist. We are ourselves as slaves to this world. To our jobs, to everything, we are bound to a system that will destroy us. So we are, at least here at Triple Grace and in some other ministries, are preparing to move out of the world, Babylon and the churches, and to move forward in a great exodus. And we will march towards a new holy mountain. And there, we will be ruptured into paradise. It will be our death to this world, but at the same time our a kind of resurrection, our rupture into eternal life, and we will receive a new body, as I have seen in the images of the Lord for Passover. And this is the time of a great harvest. This is the time of the spirit of Elijah, work, working so John the Baptist, calling the people out of the world into repentance and towards the kingdom of heaven in preparation for the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, brothers and sisters, if you see that all the images, everything that the Lord showed me for Passover has everything to do with our final task here on earth, with now moving into the sealed tribulation, this is the Passover time period. We are moving towards the holy mountain, towards Mount Zion. But we, on the way, we will use the spirit of Elijah and of John the Baptist. And we will bring the people out of the world to walk with us on that narrow path in repentance and in returning to the kingdom. We will bring in a great harvest and great revival. This is all about Passover. And of course, when the time will progress in the sealed tribulation, we will be facing a new Pharaoh, the Antichrist. This is the first seven of the set of seven seven. Passover. Passover representing the sealed tribulation. Coming out of the world, escaping from the Antichrist, not taking his mark, bringing in a harvest, great revivals, being the beacon of light in a dark time, Passover is the sealed tribulation. And then the Lord took me to Tabernacles. And he said, this, this is the second seven. And he showed me images. I saw the Israelites in the tents, in the desert. I saw Mount Sinai. I saw Moses up on the mountain with the Father. But I also saw the disobedience 
of the Israelites with the golden calf. I saw their punishment, 40 years walking in the desert. Then I saw a man coming up. His name was Joshua. And he guided the people after the 40 years into the promised land. Then I was taken to a new set of images. I saw the seven days, the seventh day of the Feast of Tabernacles. When the people are going round in the synagogue seven times. Then I saw a picture of a city. And that name came up, Jericho. And then the walls fell. Then I was taken to a new image, set of images. I saw the eighth day, Shemini Azaret. I saw Jews packing their belongings, their bags, taking down their booths and tents, preparing to go home. And then the Lord said one word, Jubilee. They will go back to their promised land. And then he said, Tabernacles represent the trumpet tribulation. In the trumpet tribulation, brothers and sisters, we will see now that the Lord who has come down on Mount Zion during the seal tribulation will now go and tabernacle in Jerusalem with the Jews as he did on Mount Sinai at this time. He will build the temple in Jerusalem, the first half of trumpets. But I also see again disobedience. I saw that the Jews again rejected the Messiah and I saw the Lord repeating it over and over, again, again, again. They rejected him again. And their punishment was not to walk 40 years in the desert, but their punishment will be to be 42 months under the control of Satan. But then I saw a man appearing, not by the name of Joshua, but Yeshua, Jesus, standing feet down on the Mount of Olives, the mountain splitting into two, and he comes to destroy Satan and his minions. And he's guiding all the people into the Promised Land. And his millennium starts with the year of Jubilee, the restoration of all things, and the returning to your rightful land within the promised land, your inheritance. So the Lord said, this represents seven seven, the first seven Passover, the seal tribulation. The second seven, tabernacles, the trumpet tribulation. And then he said, let us look at two, two, two. And I thought, oh, now something will come that I get some understanding about the complete numbers. But it was not like that. The Lord pointed me to the first two. And he said, what do you see? And I saw our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ standing surrounded by thousands of witnesses walking in his image looking like Jesus themselves. And the Lord said, this is perfect union. I'm coming for my bride. I'm coming to set up the witnesses in the nations, coming to bring forth the ambassadors of heaven. And then he showed me the second number two. And when he showed me that one, I saw a dark figure and on his forehead was written, the false messiah, the antichrist. And I saw next to him standing a person his witness, 
the Lord said, this is the adversary. This is the man that will come forth to claim to be me, but he is from the dark side. And then he took me to the final number two. And I saw a man standing on a mountain, coming from the mountain with high speed, defeating all the enemies that want to attack that mountain. And after he had destroyed all the enemies, then he called to himself all the witnesses from the first number two. And he took them home. That man is Jesus Christ. And the mountain is Mount Zion. So the Lord said, do you understand, Michael? The 222 is a sealed tribulation. This is your walk and your fight as my witnesses in this world against the Antichrist and his witness. You need, must bring in a great harvest, he said. You must talk about my coming kingdom. Many lost sheep are in this world and you are called to gather them together. And then the Lord took me to the number 333. And he pointed again to the number, the first number three. And I saw the Holy Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And where were they placed? In Jerusalem. I saw the Holy City filled with the Godhead, with the Holy Godhead. But still, people were walking in disobedience rejecting what they were seeing, saying it cannot be like that. Then the Lord took me to this next number three. And I saw the fake Godhead, the fake Trinity. I saw Satan himself, a great power, a great dragon. And I saw again the Antichrist, the dark figure, and his witness. And the Lord said, this is the punishment for my house of Israel, for the nation of Israel. This is the fake Godhead that will come, and they will come in their own name, and they will be accepted by my people. And then he pointed me to the final number three. And I saw heaven open, and I saw the Holy Godhead again, and I saw Jesus coming on a white horse with all of the myriads of angels coming down to destroy the false Godhead and to take possession again on this, of this earth. And the Father gave him all the power and the glory. And the Holy Spirit came and filled all the people so that they could finally see the truth. And finally, the eyes were opened of all the Jews, and they saw the true Messiah, and they fall on their knees, and they worshipped him. And it was a time for great celebration, and it was a time of jubilee. And the Lord has returned to take possession. The Lord has returned and to start his millennium kingdom. And Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, will be king on this earth in a physical manifested kingdom. Brothers and sisters, 77222333. This is your breakthrough code for the end times. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranath.